Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. So here this session what are we going to see is we are going to find out the number of zeros at the end of any given n factorial. So if you are given a value of n and in that n factorial so at the last or that n factorial's value is going to end up with how many zeros this is what we are going to see here in this session and before that here we start this session i request you to watch the what's the previous video i mean the video that was posted just before this session so if you kindly watch that video and come here you will have a better understanding so we are going to use a concept that we have already used there here so for a better understanding i request you to watch that video and come here yes fine yes and yeah coming to the number of zeros what do you mean by the number of zeros we'll take some very easy examples itself for our basic understanding suppose i write the number 7000 so it is very clear that the 7000 is going to end with three zeros is it or not so there are three zeros at the end of 7000 so and and if you take the number 20000 for example 20000 so this 20000 is going to have just count and see how many zeros are there there are four zeros here so four zeros so the number of zeros your value is going to end up with that is called the number of zeros so that's what you call it and that is what we are going to find here and based on this concept here we have got a problem how many zeros are there at the end of 300 factorial so you may wonder how we are going to find this and it's going to be very very easy process once you are going to learn the concept okay fine yes uh, yeah coming back so if you want to just realize about or observe the thing how many zeros are there at the end of a number it is just enough if you think for the number of tens or what is the highest power of tens see here here i've got the number seven thousand so the seven thousand is nothing but seven times of thousand is it or not so there i can very well say that the thousand stands for 10 power 3 so that means i have got 10 power 3 inside this 7000 and that is the reason i've got three tens here i am getting three zeros at the end of my value and same way here our number is 20000 here and 20000 can be expressed as 2 into 10 power 4 so 10 power 4 so that means i've got maximum four tens or 10 power 4 inside this 25 20,000 and that's the reason I 20,000 our value 20,000 is ending up with four zeros so if at all we need to think about how many zeros are there at the end of our number very simple we can just go observe what is the maximum or what is the highest power of 10 available in our value that's it very simple okay so now I think we can enter to our problem so we have got the number 300 factorial right so we have got 300 factorial and we are supposed to find what is the maximum power of 10 available in this 300 factorial so if you go find it then ready we are uh, getting the answer yes okay so just think about 10 so 10 is a composite number here is it or not so in that case we have to break the 10 so this 10 can be written as 2 into 5 so here it is not necessary for us to waste the time on finding what is the highest power of 2 and what is the highest power of 5 separately we can directly go for the bigger number here 2 and 5 the bigger number is going to be 5 and it is more than enough for us to see what is the highest power of 5 here so that case our n value is 300 right so i'm going to start with 300 and i'm going to do repeated or step division with the number 5 yes shall we do that shall we start so 5 so in 300 it is exactly 60 times so 60 and once again 5 and this is 60 and 16 uh, 5 we have got exactly 5 12 uh, so 12 times and once again we can go for 5 tables and here we can go up to 5 2s are 10 so there are 2 times yo yes that's it further we can't proceed so we can stop here itself so because we are ending up with the number 2 2 is less than 5 so we can stop there itself and as usual what can be done is we can strike out our or we can eliminate our first number from where we started and we can just add the other remaining numbers so we have got 60 plus 12 plus 2 so in that case the answer would be 74 is it or not 74 because this is a 14 60 plus 14 will be a 74 that means we have got maximum 
फाइव पावर फाइव पावर सेवेंटी फोर लेट मी राइट इट हियर फाइव पावर सेवेंटी फोर इन साइड दिस थ्री हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल एंड वॉट अदर थिंग वी कैन अश्योर दैट टू पावर आई मीन द हाइएस्ट पावर ऑफ टू विल बी डेफिनेटली मोर देन द सेवेंटी फोर इन साइड दिस थ्री हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल वाई बिकॉज दिस टू इज कंपेरेटिवली स्मॉलर नंबर सो दैट मीन्स वी कैन कलेक्ट मोर नंबर ऑफ टूस दैन हाउ हाउ मेनी नंबर्स वी कलेक्टेड फॉर हाउ मेनी पावर्स वी कलेक्टेड फॉर फाइव मोर देन डेट वी कैन कलेक्ट the powers of 2 and in that case we can assure that 5 power 72 and 2 power will be even more than 74 5 power 74 and 2 powers will be even more than that 74 and in that way we can maximum form or we can just try to form a maximum 10 power 74 inside this 300 factorial that's are going to be our that's going to be our result so inside this 300 factorial we can maximum collect 10 to the power 74 that is we can have we can find 74 tens inside this 300 factorial and that means our 300 factorial is going to end up with how many zeros they are going to be 74 zeros so the answer to the question will be 74 zeros is going to be the answer so if at all if you are given any n factorial and if are asked to found find how many zeros will your factorial will end up with you can just directly go find the maximum power of 5 available in your n factorial that is enough why because that highest power of 5 whatever value you get definitely your highest power of 2 will be even more than that and in that case the maximum power of 5 that itself will decide what can be the maximum power of 10 in your n factorial's value and that gives you the answer so here for this question the answer is going to be 74 so 300 factorial will end up with 74 zeros is going to be your answer and the same way you can even try other questions also by taking some other uh, questions some other n value you can even try with the other values yes i hope the concept that you have seen here and the shortcut that we used here to solve the problem is very clear to you and uh, as usual any doubts you have got you are most welcome to post it in the comment box and if i see that i'll uh, assure that i will just verify or i'll just rectify your doubts there and yes and if you find this video to be useful please give a like and also share to your friends and please subscribe our channel for more such videos and again in our next session we'll come with a other interesting concept or some other interesting problem there see you soon there thank you so much